All right, let's take a look at the what's for dinner project. So in this project, we have a plate drawn out for us and the exercise tells us that we should fill up the plate with some food. Well, obviously not actual food. We're supposed to use the drawing commands like ellipse and rect and triangle to draw stuff that kind of looks like food. Now you don't have to be perfect here, you just have to draw something that kind of resembles what you want it to be and you have to just uh, use at least three different shape commands. So we're going to do that. Let's first draw some eggs because first of all eggs are really recognizable and they're relatively easy to draw. So I'm just going to put a little comment in here to tell tell us what this is going to be. Now I'm first just going to type in some random parameters, right? That's what these values are called. They are the, each one of these values represents one parameter of this ellipse function. And we can fiddle around with these values to move it around on the plate or perhaps increase or decrease its size. Now I want to create the outer shell of my egg. So this is going to be the egg white. And I want another ellipse to represent the inside of that egg, the egg yellow. So I'm going to call that the egg yolk. And we're going to make that a lot smaller, of course. We do that by adjusting the width and height. And now it's all a little bit white. Let's just add a color to this. Now, how do you add a color? Well, that's done with the fill command. If you want to fill up a shape you, with a color, you use the fill command. And these three parameters are the red, green, and blue values of that uh, color. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this to yellow and it doesn't have to be perfect and you can just pick a color. I think this looks decent enough, right? And that's it. That looks somewhat like a boiled egg or sorry, a boiled egg doesn't look like a boiled egg at all. It looks like a baked egg. I don't know what that's called. Not a native Englishman. All right, let's keep, keep going. Let's also make a slice of cheese. We can use a rectangle command to and make it slightly dark yellowish, right? So let's just first copy this over. We're going to change ellipse to rect. We're going to change the position, of course. I want this a little bit elsewhere on our plate. And we could even, if we want to go all the way, we could even add some ellipses in here, right? We, we could do something, something like this. We have to draw that after the cheese because we want it to look like a hole. And if it's underneath it, you, you don't get to see it. So we're going to fill this up with the color yellow. And we're going to make the holes very, very small. And maybe just make two of those at some different positions, maybe three or four. It's all up to you. Just make it look good. Not because we have to, but because we want to. All right, that, that, I think that looks fair. I think it's pretty clear if you showed us to someone that it should, that this is intended to look like cheese. So that's good enough for me. Now, let's look at the project requirements for a second and see if we have to do anything else. It doesn't really tell us here how many shapes and commands we should use, but if we, if we submit this, then certainly we'll notice that you have to use at least three shape drawing commands. And we've certainly met that. 
you don't have to use three different types because then we'd also have to put a triangle in there but that's not required and I know that because I have a spin-off which should give us a picture of some food I guess I didn't use any rectangles in there and I created a pizza so I've passed evaluation that's good and that's it that's how you use the save drawing commands and that's how you can complete this project